Guys, this is the 2017 Sherco 300 SER that I'm going to be giving away. If you want to win this bike, all you have to do is go over to my website and uh, buy a shirt during the promotional period. And for every shirt that you buy, it puts you into the drawing to win this dirt bike. And this sucker is freaking sweet. It's the 2017 version, and there's nothing wrong with this bike. I really, really like it. And I'm super stoked to be giving it away to a lucky Dirt Bike Channel viewer. This thing is a mountain machine, and it is awesome. And I just passed my trail. So yeah, head on over, shoot. If you want a chance to win my bike, uh, go grab a shirt during the promo period. This bike does not disappoint. I really like it. And who wouldn't want to win, who wouldn't want to win a brand new bike just by buying a $25 t-shirt? I think that's what they are. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. Yeah, so been doing a been testing this thing out. I bought this thing uh, from Sherco sure Off-Road. Um, and I love it. It's a good, it's a great bike, and the more and the more I ride it, the more I like it. Yeah, so if you have a hankering to get a 2017 sweet bad a dirt bike for about the price of a t-shirt now's your chance promotion's not going to go on forever see my website and see the video description uh, for more info on how to win this thing But I think it's a pretty dang good prize. It's gonna be hard to see this thing go when it does. Look at this single track here that hardly gets touched. It's a good thing we're riding it today. Cause it needs some, needs some love. Yeah, this bike flies, guys. It handles really good. I've got tubeless on it now. I love it. There we go. I employed two pivot turns to get around that. One to get over and then another to get situated the right direction. See that stick in the trail that looks like it's about to puncture my leg? I've almost had a stick like this go right through my boot and through my leg. So I'm gonna take the opportunity to move that off the trail and uh, just uh, make it so it's not gonna kill somebody else. Personally, I prefer a little bit bigger bike. I'm gonna fix this thing. I didn't like the look of that.
I grabbed second gear, gave a fistful of throttle and the wheel came up. That's what happens on a 302 stroke. You see Sam and I struggling to move some of these logs. I know there's going to be a ton of guys that are going to say, oh, why don't you carry a saw? And I got one good reason for you. <laughs> Actually, I don't have a good reason. I do need to get a foldable saw to just kind of stick in my backpack, especially for a lot of these early spring rides. Because if you had a decent saw, uh, not even a chainsaw, you don't, you know, you wouldn't have to have a chainsaw. If we were just carrying a decent, like, curve saw or foldable blade saw and stick it in a pack or something, then we could uh, do some of this other, you do some of this you know, trail clearing a little bit easier. Cool. Uh, in this case, you know, with these logs, we were able to drag them out of the trail, you know, but uh, thanks for all the work that the UNA Trail Council is doing in my area to uh, go through and clear out the trails. They do a ton of work for us. Um, every once in a while, they'll have trail cleaning days and they want to get people involved. Um, I would suggest that if you look at the groups in your area that are doing trail maintenance and try to get involved with them and, and, and help out and do your part, uh, because it's uh, it all helps for all these groups that are using these different trails. So whether you're dragging la logs off like uh, Sam and I are doing here, or you're cutting logs out, or you're helping with other trail maintenance and things like that, it's all part of the ecosystem. It's all part, you know, of what we want to do to be uh, to be, you know, grateful stewards of the environment here. <coughs> In case you can't tell, I stand up. 90% of the time I'm riding because I want to be in that attack position. It's a big dead tree right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to do a pivot turn. I need to have the bike oh, like that. closer to the log. Like this. Just like that. <laughs> Here we go. That was good. The Shurko's got a real nice power delivery. And the clutch is, is good. The clutch is easy to modulate. Brakes are fantastic. It's got the Brembo brakes. I think the bike's pretty quiet. That's a good thing. When you're out here in the mountains like this. Yes, vibrates more than a 2017 KTM. It isn't as smooth that way. But once you get riding it, especially in single track like this, you don't notice it. Oh, that's a crappy one we need to move. Shut the gas off. Lay the bike down. And move this. Yeah, I'm off the bike, but only because I want to do my civic duty. 
What? Yeah. Hashtag trail clearing. Do your part, boys. Oh, shoot. Oh, I tried to turn it off, but obviously I didn't get it off. I put it to reserve. Hey guys, if you didn't already know, Patreon is the best way to support Dirt Bike Channel. We've got some really cool rewards over there, so click on the link up here that you see to become a patron. That'll take you directly to our site, and you can check everything out. Uh, you can donate as little as $1 per month, and it would really, really help us out. Thanks a ton, guys.